All right, hello and welcome to... Mm, that frame rate's not good. Or maybe the game just doesn't have a very good frame rate. I don't know. But yeah, hello and welcome to the prologue series for Dragon Age Origins. Yeah, that's... Frame rate not looking so good, what the hell? Okay, let's just see what's going on in the background. Make sure nothing's chugging where it shouldn't be. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe the game just doesn't like being recorded. I don't know. Hard to say. Or maybe I just have things turned. I have everything turned up to the max, but it's an old game, so I can't see how that's the problem. But back to the point. Um, prologue series. Uh, the first one I'm going to do. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Is the character that I did the first time I played. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. Um, the first time I actually finished the game was this because I played all of them to see which of the six backgrounds I liked and this is the one I like the most so this is what I'm going to do first so the point of these prologue things is for people to choose which one they like the best I'm not sure how many videos this is gonna be because I don't really know recall how long they last no it is gone how do you do greetings Greetings. Charmed, I'm Greetings. 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 Uh, I'm just going to choose a voice Greetings. and I'll... Once I actually Greetings. start the game after Greetings. choosing class and background... Greetings. Greetings. ...is when I'll actually... How do you do? Right. Casting. Focus. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. Greetings. I cannot cast it. It is unharmed. Greetings. I have lost concentration. I should do something else. At right casting. Hmm. Scoot. Greetings. Yeah, let's just go with that. Uh, let's take a look at presets. See if there's something acceptable as a temporary character. You know, the first dude. Yeah, first dude's good enough. Ah, shit. Hmm. On. Well, magic's pointless. Wait. Okay, I can't turn that down. They cast more spells. Magic can cast more spells. Too deep of a full warrior. Willpower grants stamina for combat techniques. Okay, well, let's put a couple points in that. Uh. Damage stuff by piercing weapons, I don't have arrows. Just doing a master. Favorite rogues. I'll put a point, extra point in there. In there. Cunning. And then. Ah, oh, shit. I can't turn that down. Cunning. can't remember if conversations use any of those abilities. Coercion. Well, I'll take a talking straight away. Oh boy, there's a lot here. More than I remember. Oh crap. Dual building, archery, sword, no, yeah, sword and shield, and then warrior abilities. Yeah, because the way I remember playing it is I, I remember being one of... Because I remember kind of the team I ended up building. And being the tank, like a heavy dwarf tank was pretty good. So I'll take that. Then let's take... Uh, let's take an active ability. Sure. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going to go through these. I probably won't do that lengthy 
process and just start recording on this loading screen on subsequent events. But yeah, more or less, I want at least some people's input, but if nothing really is said by people, then I'll just go with what I'm doing now. But with a through the full character Deep creator and the Frostback Mountains sits make a proper Osimar, thing. The larger of two known remaining dwarven cities in the world. Ozamar was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. Secure in Ozamar's impregnable construction, the dwarven noble houses continue their centuries-old power struggles. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace, but the appearance of honor is paramount. You are the second child of King Endron of House Idukan, the ninth Idukan ruler elected by the noble assembly. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue and have struggled against brothers and cousins for honor and prestige. Today, a feast celebrates your first military commission the opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of dwarven politics. Okay. Greetings, my lord. You are dressed and ready. Oh, Excellent. shit. <laughs> I couldn't find the armor's matching dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy longsword. Well, that's you nice. You wear your shields at the noble's feast. Yes, I do. Uh, better safe than sorry. Shield me. <laughs> yeah, sure. Certainly. You'll cut an imposing picture out there. Of course, if every other noble has a shield and three swords, you'll feel awfully underdressed. You and my friend are ridiculous. You forget your place. Not yet. One can't take all this marching about and speech making too seriously. Moving on to the business at hand. The king expects you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. The noble family heads will spend hours boring your father with petitions and petty grievances. No shit. We shall see. We shall s go. What shall we do in the meantime? What sort of grievances? The usual. This lord had my cousin killed. This lord seduced my wife. This lord did the exact thing I'd planned to do to him, but he did it first. They pose and bluster, and each pretends he is the honorable man in a den of thieves and assassins. Bah. The rest is worth seeing, though. As part of the celebrations, permits have been auctioned off to members of the merchant caste who wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Lord Harrowmont has also opened up the provings for young warriors to test their mettle before tomorrow's battle. Perhaps we should go show them what single combat is really all about. And by we, I mean you. Man, this... <laughs> I'll practice my cheering. ...does not like being recorded. <laughs> the frames continue to dive. Uh, fighting each other before a battle is awful wasteful. Why don't you want to fight in the proving? That seems like a good you question. Remember last year's open proving? It took your father's smith six hours to remove my helmet. I'm not meant for single combat. I fight as my lord's second in shield. That's enough for me. Cool. Sure, let's go have a right look. behind you, my lord. The day is ours until the feast. Oh boy, now I gotta remember how controls work for this. Uh, use mouse wheel to bring your camera up and down. Yep. Yeah. Or click on desired destination. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna click to unpause. Oh boy. I gotta remember how <laughs> this game actually plays. Okay, so what abilities do we have? Oh man, tons of stuff are going on. Shield bash. Uh, let's put that. Why can't I? There we go. That's not where I wanted to put it. I'll lock it. Very well. Uh, alright. So I didn't do what I wanted. Oh, I gotta remember how everything works in this game now. And I'm not entirely sure what fatigue is. Oh well. Okay, the highlight thing. Let's see if there's anything in my room worth. Uh, just a bust. 
Right click to use. Codex entry. Ooh, chest. I shall do it. Okay, so that's what I have. Potion. Oh shit, I got some stuff. Where do I have stuff? Interesting. I shall take it all. Where's the pause? New items. Inventory equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, oh, it actually wants me to open it. God damn it. Indestructible. Cool. Just a dagger. I have no interest in that. Move the character's armor or clothing now. Uh, actually consumables, put it down there, yeah, yeah. Maybe, I'll, I think I might turn that off, actually. I should remember enough of the game on how shit works. Oh, shit, there's, there's a lot more stuff in here. Trap, dagger. Another big-ass sword. A mace. Mall shopo. Why is there another one of these? Oh wait, no, that's what's in here. Sorry. Whoops. I totally forgot. No, I started with all that stuff on the right. I thought I was... The stuff on the right was what I was getting. Uh, I'm a provide any protection. You can set a prize. Or here we go. Regular clothing. Which caught increases mana or stamina cost of spells. Talents by presenting. Sturdy armor like plate carry more penalty than lightweight leathers. But some talents like... <laughs> Excuse me. Like a warrior's powerful can... Like the warrior's powerful, but sometimes like the warrior's powerful can reduce the effect of fatigue. Inventory, sustained abilities. Oh, that's sustained upkeep. Okay, so I shall put that somewhere not as a thing. Your attack counts, so the attack speed for a bonus to attack as well as increased chance to score crits. As long as this mode is active. Okay, so I'll leave that there. And shield bash is an actual attack. Okay, so that's what fatigue was. 5% extra fatigue. Right. Okay. Got a map. Okay, yep. Sustained abilities, controlling party, explore, explore, hoppers. Okay, so what am I doing? Well, that's premium content. Animals feet, visit the markets, or watch the provings. Ah, uh, Lord Bonus Ronus. Eh, the Noble's Feast. Or the Diamond Quarter. Alright then. Can I zoom out on that? No. Oh. Uh? Yeah, let's not go around looking at everything and wasting time. We're just here for the core story. So let's not fuck around. Up to it. Alright, I can't move and look at map. Toggle full party selection. Free movement. Can I not... Mark is active. Good day, Didn't boy. help. Did not help. Marking it as active. Holy crap, it's already been 14 minutes? What? Well, that can't be right. Your father has allowed the merchants to show their wares. Uh, silk merchant. Armor merchant. Common. It's in the diamond celebrations okay can't go that way I'm sure we can work this out reasonably I'm just gonna run in circles as I look at my yeah it doesn't look the smoothest uh, maybe I should reduce because I did put everything up to like max but you know let's just put this down I don't really think maybe that'll be the only thing but oh, oh. I don't know, it seems a little better. 
I'd usually turn shadows down if I could. Uh, fine, let's go from very high to high. Have you heard about tomorrow's assault on the Darkspawn burners? Who hasn't? It's also possible this game just doesn't like being recorded. So I pay your trust follow, big brother. How surprising to run into you out among the common folk. Especially since duty requires that you attend our King Father at the feast today. Have you so little respect for him to disregard his wishes on a day set aside for you? Lord Harrowmont told me we wouldn't be needed for hours at least. Silence! If I want the opinion of my sibling second, I will ask for it. Hey, don't yes, be a dick to my boy. Uh, where I once today I don't speak I to him like that. Lower houses and castes as they should be spoken to. Now do as I say. Man, I forgot how much of a dick he was. You're on your own. I've been dealing with him all afternoon. What exactly is that supposed to mean, little brother? Uh, nothing, Trian. I've been having a great time. The speech you gave to the legless boy about hard work and making something of himself was fantastic. As heir to the throne, it is my duty to impart wisdom and judgment upon those who need it. Now then, you, get to the feast. Yeah, I'll go when I'm ready. Stubborn, aren't you? When I'm king, I will help you get over that. Come, Balin. I shall not spoil what I remember. Nothing like being talked down to by the next king. Uh, yeah, that won't happen. Yeah. That it is. Let's get back to enjoying it, shall we? Yeah, becoming king usually makes one less of a dick and more calm. That is not something that happens. Okay, so... Don't remember how to get to the proving, but we're here, so... However, you always yeah, I was before. Yeah, you may pay a visit to the management set up shop or watch the provings. Well, Joe, sure, let's talk to this guy. My lord Iduken, nothing here rivals your amazing Iduken armor. But if you wish something made, you know very well how Iduken has its own royal armors. Of course, forgive me. Sure, let's tell me about your stuff. Legendary prowess is matched only by your kindness. Uh, that's not what I asked. I personally oversee the armor's crafting by the most skillful of the smith casters. Uh, fascinating, thank you. The honor was all mine. Nonsense, woman. Your words bring shame upon our house. See how the edges are rough and pitted? Would you compare this to Bronca's work? Trust a woman to speak of things she doesn't I remember the name Bronca. I don't remember why. Invest in the next great trade expedition. Weapon merchant. Greetings, my lord, I do get. I am so honored to have you visit my booth. I have a proposition, but I dared not approach. Yet you dare now. I'm all right. Uh, I'll hear him out. Very well, then. Speak. Um, yes, just so. Here's the thing. What I mean to say oh, is... For God's sake, oh, man. Sorry, so nervous. I had a dagger made for you as a gift for your first command. I uh, sent a messenger to deliver the dagger to you. Prince Trian had him thrown out. I don't know what offense he caused, but I had him beaten severely. Uh, what? I'm more interested in what happened, really. More interested in what he did to get beaten. Here, here it is, your highness. That's an amazing piece, merchant. You do me much honor, sir. The blade has been crafted over a period of two years by masters of every art. I wish to bless the Lord's first command and hope that someday, when he rules, he will wear it. Tree in his heir. He will rule when King Endrin returns to the stone. If the assembly wills it, forgive me, sir. But whispers say the second child of Endrin will be chosen. Whispers indeed. It's a princely gift. If Trian recognizes it, though, it may send the wrong message. 
or the right one, depending on your view. <sighs> what? That seems a bit over the top. He's giving me a cool dagger. What the fuck? I'll take it. Thank you. You bring uncountable honor to me. What he means is that you'll bring uncountable gold to him if you wear that piece in public. Eh, both work. I don't really care. Okay, anyone else? Magic merchant. Lord Idukin, here in my booth? I am so. Okay. He's fainted. You make quite the impression these days. Do I? Is it hard to be the king's child, never able to just blend in? Well, if I wasn't wearing fancy armor. Uh, just wanted to talk. Plenty of talk at the noble feast, though a less pleasant sort. Shall we move along? Fuck. Oh, oh, man, I totally forgot about that. My lord, are you heading to the proving arena? Yes. We have been charged with the task of escorting you to the proving grounds. I clean forgot about that. Forgive me, I should have informed you sooner. The king decided you were not to travel through the commons unguarded. Uh, well, I kind of figure out why. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Uh, very well. Will we be leaving then? Yeah, I've talked to the merchants. Uh, excuse me. I may end up making six different episodes at this rate. One for each background. Uh, sure, the Proving Master. Your Highness, it is an honor to have you here. Is that the voice actor of Alderis? These brave warriors do battle in your honor. I think it is. Mm, wouldn't miss it. Your presence encourages the fighters to greater feats. Well, I'd like to fight. Your Highness, this proving is in your honor. Then honor him by doing as he says. My Lord Idukin will fight in this proving. Of course. It is well within your right. Let's see what these boys be capable of. of Orzammar, we have a late entry to these provings. Held on the eve of battle for the honor of House Idukan. I give you the Lord Idukan himself. Are you ready for your first match? Of course. And let us begin. Let's see if I remember this how combat works. Proving. It it pretty much works like any good of the of RPG, um, MMO the RPG, which is why I remember loving this game. Until the third one. And then it totally changed the style, which is sad. Bimo, youngest son of Lord Bimo. You honor me with this match. I'll honor you upside the head. Okay, okay, I, I can't remember if that was annoying or good. Uh, let's see, it reduces sacrificing attack speed for a bonus to attack with increased chance of crit. Uh, because I'm alone, I'll take it. Oh yeah, I remember that ability with the knockdown. Okay, so that is that. Okay, my health is good. Though I can't, okay, I need to know, can I have the health bar above me? Uh, so I run regularly, she ran objects with loot. You'd think it'd be under game for health bars. Laser controls, audio, video. Probably not. And I can't exactly move those around, can I? The Paragon B mode Play with you. fight. And down you go. I normally like playing casters, but the winner is Lord Idukan. I don't remember. Am I actually killing these dudes or 
Am I just kicking their ass? Wait. Okay, I think I... I hope I holster automatically. Quite a fight. Alair Bimo is no slouch with that hammer. Are you ready for your next opponent? Who is it? Doll Helmy. A woman, your highness. She's a tenacious fighter. Good. Excellent. Let us go. Let's see how much of a tenacious this fighter she is. is. A glory proving. Fought under the watchful eyes of the paragons of Orzammar. For the honor of House Iduken. Lord Iduken will fight a doll Helmi, eldest daughter of Lady Helmi. Honor and glory to your house, your highness. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! That dude's got some good looking armor, he really does. Oh shit, I didn't want to turn that off. I didn't realize it was still turned on. Well, shit. Well, at least I'll get a chance to see how different the... Oh shit, that's... Significant. In terms of attack speed. She's not fighting back. That is strange. Oh yeah, look, it's like... I swear that's more than doubled. On attack speed. You know. Hold on, is there... Let's see. Does this tell me... Rock accomplishments. Armor. Defense. Plus 10 on my attack. Crit chance goes is 5. If I turn that off... Okay, so it increases by 3. Hmm. Dwarf. No more. Right. Fatigue, which increases... Oh, stamina cost. Stamina. Activation is 27. I think it costs 27. Okay, that fight could have gone better. The winner is Lord Iduken. I feel like the combat AI glitched and it wasn't as it should have been. Okay, so if I activate... Yeah, puts it up to 70. Puts that up by 5. But boy, it really... Re this doesn't... I really wish this told me com um, attack speeds. No, don't fucking auto level me up. Are you insane? That was a crowd pleaser. Many were waiting to see that woman put in her place. Sir Blackstone is your next opponent. Are you ready to face him? What can you tell me about him? One of the best of the warrior cast. He achieved glory in close combat assault in the deep roads. All righty then. This should be a good Let fight. Let begin. This is a glory proving. Fought under the watchful <clears throat> eyes of the paragons of Orzammar, for the honor of House Iduken. Lord Iduken will <coughs> fight Sir Blackstone, Deep Road Squad Leader of the Warrior Cast. <clears throat> this is your education, child. Try to learn as you bleed. <clears throat> First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Alrighty then. We're going in with the old shield bass first. 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 Oh yeah, before he could even get a hit in. Oh man. Has he hit me yet? Okay, there we go. So no armor. Penalty to armor. Man, it, this. I swear, fucking warriors are tanky as shit in this first game. That or this combat is meant to be a t easy ass tutorial. The winner is Lord Iduken. Honestly, I don't remember. Are those people in here? No. Well, he's down there. I'm not sure if he's dead. Well done. You have proven that even the best of the warrior cast cannot match a noble Iduken. Brandlin Ivo is your final opponent. He too has had many victories today. Are you ready to face him, or will you rest first? Ah, I'm good. Uh, what, oh, what can you he tell me about him? He's a decorated fighter, 
who prefers unusual weapons and rarely fights with the same techniques twice. Nice. Now, Saivo is relatively inconsequential, but Franlin may change that. He's expected to take a full command of his own soon. Less a house, less a man. I'll fight him now. Well, let's see what he's got. This <clears throat> is a glory proving. Excuse me, I don't know if I'm killing these people or just kicking their ass. It's kind of open. I mean, I'd like to think I ain't killing them, because apparently dwarves got their back against the wall, so killing a capable people kind of sucks. Seriously, I like that armor. will fight Franklin Ivo. Second son of Lord Ivo. You fight well. I wish you glory today and glory tomorrow. Glory is mine for the one who takes it. Shut up and yeah. First warrior to fall is vanquished. The victor is champion. Fight! I, mean, I wonder how hard it is to lose in this. You know? Oh boy, I didn't knock him down. But yeah, seriously, I wonder how hard it is to lose these fights. Oh shit, I've been stunned. But I can stun back! Well, not technically, I knock him on his ass. I also have health potions, which I have currently no need to use. I mean, he's done some good damage to me and he's the first one yet. Yeah, I really wish there were parries instead of just blocks and misses. The winner is Lord Iduken. He put up a hell of a fight. The first one among all of them. To actually do some good damage. Congratulations. Brandon Ivo is as fierce a competitor as I've ever seen. You vanquished every warrior of note in today's proving. The ceremonial helm commissioned by your father for today's winner... Is yours. Ooh. He fought bravely. He deserves it. Remember your honor and generosity for all time. Well, by the fact that it says send it to him, suggests that he is in fact alive, which is nice. I shall disable that now. I have no need of it for the moment. My lord. Uh, yeah, let's go back. Your wish is our command. Might as well go to where I'm meant to now. I assume. Uh, we, uh, I don't want to forget. Uh, let's make sure I talk to all of these merchants just in case. Well, that guy's still out cold. Only the freshest food for your noble table. My lord. Invest in the next great trade expedition. Yeah, shopo. I can, everything I take, I can sell. You know, I should actually check if any of these weapons I can use. So we got a Noble's Dagger. Ooh, plus one electrical damage. That sounds interesting. Uh, let's see. Uses Dex. Man, if I was a different kind of character, that'd probably be pretty useful. But I shall save that. Plus one electrical damage. That's interesting. Oh, shit. 31. Damn. 34 on that. Then we got Blood Dragon Armor, Vestiments of a Seer, which just requires magic. Small Grease Trap. Yeah, can't use anything I currently have. That is fine. Uh, uh, well, these people have names. What have we here? Two handsome, strapping noble lords. You both look so grand. And isn't this the man of the hour, the king's son? Who's your friend, my lord? Another noble from the honored house I do in? Oh, then not a noble? Really? No, Telly, not a noble. Stone your thick sometimes. They're noble hunters, my lord. Yeah. A man takes his cast from his father, and these women hope to bear a noble lord's son. If one is successful, she's raised up to concubine in the noble house to care for her child. It provides new sword arms for the house, and many nobles look favorably on such women. Understandable. 
Shall I come to your chambers after the ceremony then? Ah, it's a little forward for the moment. First, I want him. <laughs> He's looking for a woman, Telly, not a little girl. I'm Marty, and I know how to give my lord a night he'll remember. Mmm, fuck. I mean, shit. I should be we'll going. Be here if you change your mind, my lord. <laughs> I mean, of the two, Marty definitely looks better. On it, you know. To be honest, my lord. Sure, show me your ways. What you got? Uh, oh, how much money do I actually have? I have ten copper. Well, I guess I won't be buying any of that anytime soon. Metal shard. Yeah. Okay, well, I think I've talked to everybody. Oh, I don't think I did. I talked to Silk. My lord, I do can. You honor me by visiting my humble booth. May I show you my wares? Uh, you have something I may Not wish? Not for a mighty warrior such as yourself, my lord, but perhaps a lady friend. Uh, I, I forget myself. I'll be silent. This looks to be mostly fabrics from the human lands. These merchants form alliances with those who have abandoned our ways to live on the surface. According to the scholars, more than 500. Does it matter? The surfacers are lost to us. Still, numbers and numbers. Uh, I think that is everybody. Yeah, silk and armor. Well, it should have been weapon as well, but whatever. Uh, does the journal have anything? No. Yeah, there's no one else that's named. So, wonder why are these guards gold? I am at your service. Hmm. Whatever. Let's go to where we're meant to. I remember that this one more or less ends with combat, and then it'll get to a point where all prologues have the same result. Oh, I should have swapped back to this. Didn't even notice. My lord, I do. Might I bother you for a moment? Sure. What you got? Many thanks for your willingness to hear me out. I wish to speak to you of a matter most urgent. Okay. My ear is itchy. Well, yeah, how much time do we have? It looks as if the heads of House Bimo and Mino are keeping your father busy. Which leaves you plenty of time for our dear old friend, Lord Dace. You're a credit to your caste, Sir Gorham. I've always said so. If I had a daughter, I'd give her to you and make you the noble you deserve to be. You honor me, my lord. Alright, I'm all ears. First, let me congratulate you on your commission. Two of King Endrin's children now commissioned war leaders. It does great honor to your house. Yeah. Uh, no, I surely did not. Let us just pretend we spent another ten minutes Wishing good things on each other's houses, yes? But there is a vote coming before the assembly next week. And a word from you could go a long way towards helping our cause. The cause? The concerns the status of the so-called surface caste. Lost to the stone, air-touched, and so forth. Centuries ago, narrow-minded men declared that any dwarf who left to live on the surface forfeited his caste and his house if noble. That he was, in essence, no longer in war. I seek only to remedy an injustice, to retie the bonds of anyone who can trace himself to one of the noble houses wherever he may live. Please, agree to speak for this noble cause. Uh, why so interested? Those on the surface are our lifeline. They facilitate trade with the surface. They're honorable and... Uh, Let's be honest. I don't care a whit for those who have wandered from the stone. My wife, however, is a gem of a different color. She has a cousin, a useless sort, but she's quite fond of him. He joined a speculative venture to the surface, hoping to make his fortune, and went bust. Now he wishes to come home, but he cannot, for he has no house and would be castless. For my wife's sake, I take up his cause. 
Will you lend me your voice? Sure. When your father presents you to the noble houses, I will ask for your opinion on the matter. You have merely to say that you feel our service brothers should be returned their noble rights. What could be more simple? Hmm. You're a oh. fool. Are you, are you talking to me? Your mother would melt the stone if she knew what you just did. Do not mock me, boy. Lord Dace <laughs> is playing you false. Go ahead, be his puppet. Your first command will be marked by every major house turning their back on you. If you have something to say, do it. Play in the games of the assembly. Make sure you know the motivations of the players. Last spring, a guild from the merchant caste invested heavily in an expedition with a guild from the surface. Lord Dace backed the merchant guild, pouring a great deal of money into the venture. The expedition was a disaster. Uh, Clever child. Lord Dace lost a great deal of money and prestige. The Surface Guild has no way to repay the investment, but it does have several leading members who are descended from noble houses. House Helmy, Bimo, I Dukin. You begin to see the whole picture. Your house and mine would be forced to pay the servicers' kin debts. It would be a great victory for Lord Dace. Hmm. If you call his bluff, then you lose your chance to turn the tables. Let him think he has you. Smile and nod. And when he asks his question, tell him that the so-called surface cast are right where they belong. That should take Lord Dace down a peg or two. Perhaps, but good. I do Your agree with the fact, the part about returning. Nice. You know, I may not agree with the other part, but the base of it is interesting. You return. Were my instructions unclear? Well. And what did she have to say? I see. Some preposterous story, I'm sure. I suppose it could, I mean... Well, it's the spirit of the law that's important, right? Our poor, disenfranchised service brother. The spirit of it, yes. Uh, well played, your highness. Welcome to assembly politics. Now, if you'll excuse me... <laughs> you've won. Don't be stupid about it. Easy. You forget who you're speaking to. This is the guest of honor and child of the first house of Orzammar. For now, we shall see what the future holds. Trian's grasp on the throne is in no way certain, and much can happen before then. Now let me be. Well, I kind of wanted to speak about it. Yet. Hey, I haven't said where I shall turn. My king, please reconsider. The trade contracts alone could bring great prosperity to our houses. Will we really turn our back on our brothers and a potential fortune in cheap labor because of a political technicality? Denial of the traditions of our people does not qualify as a political technicality. There is more to life than monetary gains, my lords Bimo and Mino. The assembly of Kal Sharak will respect the rule of Ozamar, or they will rot and die alone, surrounded by enemies. Yes, my king. But look. We have company to spare us further <coughs> A trust Vala, my son. How fine you look in your great-grandfather's armor. Oh, shit. I hear you were declared champion of the Provings. <laughs> I suppose you were never one to sit by when something exciting was going on. Are you ready to be presented to the heads of the noble houses? Well, yeah. So dutiful. <laughs> Very well. Let us begin. Lords, ladies, grant me a moment of your time. Hey, it's a sword today, red. So I may present to you my second eldest child. Oh, that dude's familiar. Stone, and born of the blood that ran in the veins of the Paragon Idukan. Who would pose a question to the prospective commander? Who seeks to know the prospect better? No? Very well then. The ritual is complete. Wait, seriously? That's it? You Ozamar's next commander. 
Tomorrow, our newest commander will lead part of a mission to strike a great blow to the Darkspawn. Not only does this recover access to some of our most important minds, but it also allows our honored guest Duncan, head of Ferelden's Grey Wardens, to strike far into the Deep Roads. Thank you, King Endrin. While the Darkspawn seem to withdraw, it is only because they are massing on the surface. This could mean a blight, and my men and I will discover the truth. We are honored to have you with us, my friend. Now, feast, drink, and celebrate, for the morning brings battle! As for you, my new commander, find your brother Trian and send him to me. He may be watching the Brubins, or getting some rest in his rooms. Uh, sure. Walk well, commander. I got nothing else to do. And I doubt he's at the Proving, considering I was just there. And he walked back here. Oh, jeez. I'm level one, and that's all the XP I got so far? Eh? Yeah, we said something. Meh. That's, instead of, I could go around talking to everybody, but... God damn, it's already been 45 minutes? Yeah, I, I was planning to do, like, one race, one prologue episode. That's not happening. That is not happening. Well, I might as well loot the chest. Insufficient skill. What skill is required to open... Oh, what are you doing back here? Why are you on hold position? Hello, my dude. What took you? Nope. Okay. I guess he's... Wait. I think I might be in the wrong person's room. Yep, I'm in the wrong dude's room. Yeah. Whoops. Wrong room. Kinda wish there was a sprint option, you know? Boy, that would be nice. So you're a commander now, in name at least. Shouldn't you be attending our King Father? And he wishes of to speak he with does. you. We must discuss strategy before tomorrow's battle. Balin, stay here and stroke the new commander's conceit if you like. But then get to bed. All day I've put up with that. He can really grate on the nerves. Agreed. And what I'm going to tell you next won't make you any more fond of him. Uh... Probably not. But you need to all the same. Trian has begun to move against you. I never thought his much proclaimed honor would allow him to actually act on his jealousy. Big brother. Trian is going to try to kill you. And how do you know? I overheard him giving orders to some of his men, and I was shocked. Then it began to make sense. Trian's decided you're a threat to his taking the throne. Maybe he's right. Hmm. Man, none of those are really good options. Trian's the named prince, but only the Assembly can proclaim a king. It would be unusual for the Assembly to ignore the king's choice, but it does happen. The founder of House Vimo became a paragon and king in one move from the Assembly, and he was a commoner. That was an extraordinary case, but at least a half dozen times the Assembly named a lesser family member, or even someone from another house, as king. Usually, it's the popular younger brother of an undesirable prince. Look at it from his perspective. You're more personable than he's ever been. You entered the provings held in your own honor just for glory and to please the crowds. If you win glory against the Darkspawn tomorrow, it will only strengthen the case for you as the next heir. Trian Fear's father will replace him on the spot. If not, the assembly will surely turn against him when father dies. You know his pride will never allow him to step aside. Well, I won't fight oh, him. My elder, I'll respect any decision you make, but please be careful. I don't want to lose the brother I actually like. You're welcome. I'm taking your place as father's second, so I'll be at hand tomorrow. For now, try to get some sleep. May the paragon smile down on you. I can't remember if my bro who's been with me sticks around you know 
God, I can't remember his name, but then I've never really heard it that much as of yet, so... Well, either way, my shield brother, I would say. Treon and his men will clear the way for the Grey Wardens to descend into the easternmost caverns. Those caverns are still infested by the worst of the Darkspawn, and we cannot risk our own troops in there. Understood, Lord Haramont. We should be able to sense the Darkspawn and avoid them once the way is open. May the Paragons favor you, and the stone catch you if you fall. Come then! Glory awaits! Balin, you and your men will second the king, clearing the main road. Don't you think it looks a little cowardly to allow these humans to take our place where the fighting is thickest? Are you questioning the battle plan? Of course not. I'm sure your caution is for the glory of us all. Enough, Balin. Take your men and make ready. Aramont and I need to have words with your sibling. Good luck, my brother. Your father has a special mission for you. In the eastern deep roads, there is a secret door carved into the stone. The door leads to a taig, abandoned long ago by your ancestors. The Darkspawn have made it impossible to reach it. My father believed that the shield of the Paragon Idukan remains in that taig, under the stones of the central room. Reclaim the shield. Glory will be yours. Well, shit. My father's writings speak only of the shield. There may be countless other treasures, but only the shield matters. We've sent two scouts ahead to make sure the tunnels are cleared. But be careful. One of the scouts will meet you at the first crossroads you come to. The second will be further in. When you get to the door, use your signet ring to open it. Questions? Um, he's gonna find the door, grab shield, got it. No, I'll be back shortly. Very good. The crossroads where you meet the first scout will be the rendezvous point. There you can present the shield to the lords and demonstrate the strength of Idukin. May the ancestors watch over you, my child. Ooh, the, the way he turned away makes me feel like there's something he didn't tell me. Okay. I assume I'm going the way I'm facing. And goddamn, I have basically gotten no XP. Okay, I, I'm not going that way then. Oh, there's a tunnel here. I am going this way. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah. I don't remember if this boy, Gorim, dies or... Very well. He sticks with me for a good amount of time. Oh, crap. Is there, like... Oh, fuck. How do I set the way of allies? Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, greater than or equal to 75%. Right, that's what that means, right? Or is it less than? Enemies held less than 75%. Ah, oh, fuck me, dude. I forgot about this. Ah, oh, shit. Crap, I need the damn things for. I can never remember which is greater and which is lesser. Which is which? Okay, so... Yeah, greater than... Yeah, so it's set to greater than... Or equal to 75% shield bash. I'm going to change that to 50, I think. Yeah. And I'll have him turn that on. Okay. I shall do it. Ooh, that's a uh, regen potion for magic, if I recall. 
Well, I matched over it, and yeah. And it's blue, so why wouldn't it be? Right. Oh shit, I forgot about those. Those kill move things. God damn, those are nice. I forgot about that. That is nice to see. Dwarf corpse. Just a basic dagger. Gen lock. Health potion and that. Can I give him a health potion? You know what? I don't. I think it just comes out from all the inventories anyway. And I don't really remember if he'll be stick how long he'll be sticking around. I don't know if he dies, betrays me, sticks with me. I honestly don't remember. You made it, Commander. Did you run afoul of any dark spawn? Uh, a few. They weren't organized. Still, that was more than we expected. Once I finished scouting the tunnels, I hid here to avoid the dark spawn. Most tunnels are dead ends. The one we want is swarming with those fiends. It's going to be a fight. Yes, he was. He was, indeed. Your gift of the helm was amazingly generous. I will treasure it always. Cool. May today's battles bring us even more glory. I'll take rear guard. <clears throat> oh, hey, he's in my team now. He's got the same thing. Yeah, I'm just having a group of soldiers here. Better check these other tunnels. There might be... Nope, not gonna even bother. Nope, we're not here to loot everything. We're just here to get through the prologue and move on. That is not the way forward. God damn it. Well, it's kind of telling me to... Wait, can this zoom out? Ah, oh, shit, I can zoom out. Oh, dear. <coughs> but, yeah. Ruin Tig. Tig. Damn it, I keep pushing buttons as if I'm playing WoW. It's actually screwing with me a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. Uh, save automatically. No, that's fine. Uh, stock combat paused. Okay. Because I can pause it manually, but goddamn, I don't wanna have to keep pushing that. Oh, come on! Shit, I'm actually- well, I may be surrounded, but I ain't taking much damage. But I'm also missing a lot, too. So let's swap targets to this. Let's get rid of this leader. So I guess we only get the cool execution moves on actual humanoid enemies. Okay, nothing else seems to be lootable. Alrighty then. Another corpse with a great sword. Hey, hold on. Nope, I thought it was it was just shiny. Uh huh? Okay, I can't jump. So I guess this was a fucking dead end. Great. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of long duration videos at this rate, ain't I? God damn it. And I didn't want to explore for loot, and yet here I am! Doing it anyway. I just feel like I missed something. Like, why couldn't I go that way? Unless, was I met? You know, I kind of. Did he point out which direction for me to go? Because I don't remember. You say trap triggered. I feel like there are stats. Uh, increase effectiveness of attack, increase it for many skills, contribute to AP, mental willpower. Increase mana, contribute to mental resistance, spells. Hmm. Dex. Increase attack score in melee for certain things. Ranged. Defense. Piercing weapon, three rockers for some weapon. Talents contributes to physical resistance. So crossroads and stars increase damage. Everyone's for most weapons. 
Okay, so like, what's the skill for spotting traps and stuff? Or is that an actual skill skill? I don't remember. Actually, if I go... No, this is all inventory. Skills. Coercion, stealing, trap, making, survival. So this is talking to people. Oh, and that requires cunning. Shit, I'm... Cr God damn it. Small bonus to nature. Herbalism, making potions and stuff. That requires... Oh, just level. Poison making just requires level. No, this is just general skills. Combat training, combat tactics. Hmm. Right, so where were the... Oh, here we go. But that's still not what I was looking for. Dwarf resistance because of racial. It's not an active, it's passive, so. So cunning. Increased effectiveness of rogue talents. Prerogative for many skills. Could be used for armor. AP, mental resistance, persuasion. Yeah. So if I want like persuasion abilities, I have to put my cunning up a bit. And those things are super useful. Like, persuasion stuff is super useful. Okay, any loot? I can't remember if there's a delay for loot finding on corpses, or if it just appears immediately. I mean, if there's just cash in there, at least give me that straight away. Gorham, what were you doing camping out on the ground? Guess he was taking a little break while I did some looting. Oh, hello, Scouty. You're here. I thought the dark spawn had got you for sure. Ah, uh, not that easy to kill. I'll make sure I'm behind you if we're swarmed. We want the tunnel ahead, but there are dark spawn tracks all over it. Be careful. All righty then. I haven't ventured more than a hundred yards ahead for fear of alerting other dark spawn. I'll follow your lead, Commander. All right then. Oh, he's joining me. Hey, hold on a minute. Does that mean... What? No, we're not We're not here for loot. We're here for story. I gotta curve that rugging stunt the desire to loot. Because it is strong, the desire to loot within me. Yeah, I must let gotta go. God damn, this is... Maybe the dwarf one is the long one. Or something. God damn, this is longer than I remember. Alright, you guys. Goddamn traps. Oh wow, I'm trapped for a long time. Okay, I need someone to go deal with those. I'm here. Oh, he's an archer. Hey, wait, why didn't you go over there? Ah, oh, he resisted it. What are you doing? Shoot them. Oop, that's not what I want. Okay, let's go get them. You attack that guy. Stealth. Dirty fighting. Poison me. Got potions and grenades. Did we kill the other guy? Yeah, we did. Yeah, that alpha really messed us up. What are you doing here? Okay, hold on. All right. Dirty fighting. Ranged. Preferred behavior is ranged. Target using melee attack attacking main character Send me. okay that guy's got loot oh, he's got a nice health potion oh boy he's got a big potion 
Okay, let's test your skills. Go get that. Shield. Let's see. Certainly better than mine. But I'll stick with the shield I got for the moment. While everyone heals up a bit, we shall move on. Almost up a level. Oh, hello. That don't look good. Looks like someone beat us to the door. This darkspawn body is still fresh. Whoever opened the door is most likely still in there. Uh, they killed the darkspawn. They may be allies. They have. It could have been stolen, recently or generations back. Or it could be an ambitious cousin out for his own glory. Understood. Let's move, men. Let's move with caution. I say. Dwarf corpse. They must have came in here with quite the group. Let the helmet cured. Uh, here we go. Oh no, I have a feeling that there is no way to hide stuff on the head. So I remember effectively never wearing a fucking helmet because of that. Shit. Yeah, I think this might have been before the time when you had the ability to hide head slots. Ah, shit. Yep. Because I never like hiding characters I've made with, like, helmets and shit. I mean, I'll take the sacrifice of armor. I am f fine with that. You know, mercenaries. Interesting. Quick save. So glad you could finally join us. We feared you'd gotten eaten by Darkspawn. Turns out the shield isn't quite as easy to retrieve as I was led to believe. I wager you know where it is, though. So maybe you tell me where it is, and I won't mutilate your body so bad your father doesn't recognize you. <laughs> a funny nobleman. Just what the world needs. Now kill these idiots. Too bad. I like his armor. Okay, uh, you go get the archer. Uh, yeah, you deal with that. Let's have you move back a bit. Fire on the other archer. God damn it, resist it again. They're doing pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah, go deal with the archer over there. I actually needed to use a heal there. Okay, we only got a couple of chumps left. Oh shit, that's a ballista! Why do they have a ballista? Well, I didn't want that. Oh, that, that was unnecessary, guys. Come on. Oh, I got a health back. Cool. Some cash. Okay, so what I picked up is any of that useful? Uh, armored gloves. No. Okay, let's see if that leather. Yeah, no. Sadly, no. But I can sell it. Is that an Idukan signet ring? I guess that's how they got in here. The ring is Treans. That means he. It would have been a major victory to get the shield <coughs> first, but he showed his hand and failed. The first way we can hurt him is to find that shield ourselves. No shit. You have your orders, boys. But first, we'll loot what we can. Let's see that. 
This doesn't show attack speed, does it? It's got less crit chance, less damage. Slightly better strength modifier, though. Steel gloves, equal. Boots, equal. Oh man, that's some nice range. Scale gloves, equal. It's probably just aesthetics, then. God damn it. It's always you always gotta have a rogue on your team though. Okay, let's move on. Oh, there's still some looting. Man, there were two ballistas? Man, these guys were fucking prepared. Like holy crap. Why can't I get down? That's stupid. Charred corpse. A door. I shall do it. I mean, what, did these guys check all the rooms but one? Jeez, lazy much? Okay, what was that? Oh, someone got hit in a trap. Is there no skill for trap detection or something? I mean, how did these guys not figure out where this was? I mean, that's just lazy. This is the room. How do we get the shield? I'm sure you there'll two, be a clue. See if you can spot anything. Oh, I get it. Okay, uh, hold position. Uh, here, you take my place. There's an indication there that seems to match the signet ring perfectly. Press your signet ring against it. Continue. And the shield! Which requires twenty-two fucking strength. That's it. We've got it. it. Doesn't look like much. The skill of our crafters has come far since then. But still, shield of Idukan. Uh, if it helps rally the troops, it's a good thing. Indeed. I mean, it's a good shield, but I can't use it. We should get moving. We need to get to the other rendezvous point. Back in the direction we came from, at the crossroads. To the crossroads. Uh, okay, nothing else is in here. I think we're almost at the end. Because we're probably going to get attacked on the way back. Any more of those mercenaries? Very well. Ooh, that wolf strong. I think the name indicates the strength, which kind of sucks. Oh, shit. Oh, I've been fucked here, haven't I? Oh, these are lessons. Yeah, I got fucked real good there. Tell me what to do. I'm here. Oh, they already took care of that. Yeah. Let's get rid of the chumps before we just deal with that wolf. Uh, South Nice. Yeah, I got screwed. Stupid trap. I would have taken a healing potion if I could. Alright, so the way back is over here. God damn, this is going to be long. I was going to do more than one today, but considering how long this is taking, that is not going to happen. No, sir, it is not. I don't remember what the max level is in, th is in this game. Man, how far do I have to run back? Feel like I got a long way to run. <coughs> Excuse me. Change party. Interesting. Okay. If the tree were really scheming against us, this would be the perfect place for an ambush. We've got the shield, and we're all alone out here. 
keep, yeah, keep, keep cautious. That you're muttering about. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. As if the dark spawn weren't enough to worry about. Just keep your eyes open. Let's. Uh, am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I am. Uh, it sounds like a lot of people just died. I'm going to assume a lot of dead bodies just spawned in. Which is very strange. Bear to quick save it, just in case. Oh, that's a lot of dead people. By the stone, it's Trian. It must have been a dark spawn attack. This doesn't look like dark spawn. No bites, no scratches, no mutilation. Someone's coming. Hurry, father, before it's too... By all the ancestors, what has happened here? Well, we were ambushed. It seems we weren't fast enough. Valand was right. And thus, the betrayal has occurred. My son, tell me this isn't what it looks like. Just long enough to slay Trian. My lord is innocent. Sir Gorham, your loyalty makes you a useless witness. It falls to others to tell the story. You, Scout, what happened here? Trian and his men were here early. It seems they'd done battle with the Darkspawn. Lord Idukin came up to them all friendly-like, but when we got close, he ordered us to attack. Brandlin Ivo, you are a good and noble man. Did the Scout speak the truth? He... he did, my lord. It was terrible. Really? I never should have gave you my damn helmet. Treacherous bastard! Silence, Gorham. Do you have anything else to say, my son? I want to believe that. I really do. Find him. He will be judged before the assembly. Well, I'm screwed. Man, that bastard, I gave him a helmet. I rem I kind of remembered the scout doing it. I didn't remember him doing it, but you could tell he was conflicted there. Well, this doesn't look like a good room. What's with all the bones? Hey, where'd all my XP go? Oh, I'm not going to level. Would have come sooner had they allowed it. How are you? The assembly isn't going to call for you. Valen has taken Trian's place in the assembly. He introduced a motion to condemn you immediately, and it easily passed. Yeah, he had this set up for weeks. The assembly ready to vote on something completely against tradition and justice. He must have been making deals and alliances for months, if not years. Yeah. Yeah. He's more clever than either of us ever thought. Some of the lords, especially Harrowmont, are suspicious of Balin's instant rise to power. They are rallying, but far too slowly. The assembly has already sentenced both of us. Well, what's going to happen to you? My knighthood will be stripped, my name torn from my family records. 
but I will be allowed to attempt some sort of life on the surface. Lord Harrowmont moved for a similar exile for you, but Balin's supporters overwhelmed him. You were to be sealed in the deep roads to fight Darkspawn until you were overwhelmed and killed. Oh, that's not cool. Lord Harrowmont says the king has taken ill. He couldn't bear losing two of his children at once. Lord Harrowmont gave me access to see you so I could tell you this. Duncan and the Grey Wardens are still in the deep roads, in tunnels connected to those you are to be left in. If you survive long enough to find the Grey Wardens, you may be able to escape with Duncan. Our time is up. May the Paragons guide your sword and the stone hold you up. I will always be your man, my lord Idukin. Hopefully I can find him again. They are ready for you now. Can I at least get my shit back? I mean, if you're going to throw me to the meat grinder, at least give me my shit back. Here is the prisoner, Lord Harrowmont. Having been found guilty of fratricide by the assembly of Orzammar, you are hereby sentenced to exile and death. Your name is from this point forward stripped from the records. You are no longer a person, nor a memory. You are to be cast into the deep roads with only sword and shield, there to redeem your life by fighting the enemies of Orzammar until your death. Well, at least they, they got a Slayer's code in this world. Sentence is carried out. I understand your anger. You should have been allowed to defend yourself. Had I the power to stop this, I would have. Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't do this. For your father's sake. I believe you. That means Balin planned this from the start. Believe me, I will spend the rest of my days making sure Balin does not profit by his deeds. Your father asked me to give these to you. This sword and shield are of fine dwarven make. Strike a blow at our enemies. He is old and this tragedy has hit him hard. He will rest better now. I will. Open the doors and let the condemned walk through. They're not going to give me my cool armor. You bastards. Do the warden... Is there like a separate thing of abilities for wardens? I can't remember. Because I know you become a Grey Warden, and Grey Wardens are like... Kind of like witches, like they're, um... Altered, chemic, um... Altered to a point, but I can't remember in what way. Okay, give me the, give me the nice sword. Well, at least I still got all my cool extra shit, but... I guess I lost all my loot. That sucks. Uh, skills? How does leveling up work again? Here we go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put one in here and then two into strength. Next. Ooh, hold on. Don't remember how those are chosen. Oh, right, you get one and then the other later. Right. Powerful. Greater health and reduced fatigue penalty for wearing armor. Oh boy, that sounds like something I should take. Shield pummel. Or shield defense. It's an active ability that I could take. Shield graining a burst of defense. Increase your chance to shrug off missile attacks by taking the penalty to attack. I can't remember if you can have multiple, multiple of those at once. But I do kind of want that to reduce the cost for my armor. Of course, I'm not wearing armor, so it doesn't exactly benefit me right now. Oh well. That is the wrong one. Hey, hold on a minute. Nope, this looks like a different thing. God damn. The, yeah, these prologues take way longer than I remember. I can do it. Okay, hold on. Does the weapon have the attack speed? I don't think anything has a goddamn attack speed. Modifier, penetration... 
crit and damage. Yeah, nothing has a goddamn attack speed. So I'll take the more powerful attack. Okay, shit gear. But I'll take it. It's better than what I'm wearing. They could have at least given me shoes. Man, I'm fighting Dark Spawn and I was barely away from the entrance. Haha, <laughs> interrupted your Berserk. Unless Berserk was an active ability. Nope, don't do that. Aha! And one good shot. Come on, one good shot. Ooh, nice block. There you go. Uh, granite. How nice. I guess I kind of do need to do a little bit of looting for items. Right now, I'm mostly interested in the armor. Oh, really? I can't just drop down? Come on, game. Do me a solid. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go wherever the hell I feel like then. I think this is a dead end. Well, that looks like a spider. Oh, well, this isn't a dead end. It keeps going. Oh, there they are. Guess this is the right way. Your berserk is meaningless. I honestly don't remember which specializations are good. Nor do I remember how to unlock them. You bastard, how dare you stun me. Superior Dwarven Guard armor. Cool, cool. I'll take it. Or not? What? Oh. Requires 20. Shit. You missed. And now I'm gonna slap you with me sword. Yeah, this game really doesn't like being recorded. Just not a stable frame rate at all. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, one down. Oh, God damn it! God, I shouldn't let the attack happen. I don't have any of my healing po healing items. Oh no! Oh no! Didn't realize that. Damn! I don't get any of my good heals. Turn that off for now. Okay, some armor, more good armor. There we go, it's a nice heavy armor, exactly what I'm here for. So I hold that down and I can see the health bar, but I really wish I could see that all the time, but I can't. What that, what's the point in magic potions when dwarves can't be mages? I mean, that's just rude. That's just rude. Oh, that just turns it on and off. Not what I was expecting. Wait a minute. Ah, shh. No? I thought I'd gone back to the beginning. Hey, oh. By the maker, it's a dwarf. Hey, oh. Lord Iducan, what are you doing here alone? Where are your troops? Well, some shit happened. You have been made to walk the deep roads, then. You mean you were exiled? What happened? 
I do not think matters of dwarven honor are any business of ours. You need not answer, friend. Betrayal. Lord Trian? No. I see. The brutal intrigue of the dwarven court continues then. Your father intimated as much. There is no reason for you to walk these deep roads and die for something you did not do. You have already proven yourself both resourceful and skilled. And I would expect nothing less from an Idukan. I've been searching for those with your level of ability. Your exploits in the deep roads set you apart. As leader of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden, I would like to formally invite you to join our order. Cool. Sure. Then welcome. We leave immediately for Ostagar to join with the human forces facing the darkspawn hordes led by King Kaelin. Stay close. There are still darkspawn around every corner. And that's the end of the prologue. Pretty much from this point, as far as I remember, everything is relatively the same. You know, with the small differences. And goddamn, that took an hour and a half. Damn. Way longer than I expected. That sucks. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, your majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, your majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. It's good to see one of the honorable stout folk outside Audemar. I've always wanted to learn more. Perhaps you could enlighten me sometime. I meant after we defeat the Blight, of course. I doubt Logame will give me a moment's rest until then. I've been to Audemar. King Endrin invited my father to a grand proving long ago. How does Endrin fare these days? Good. I hope to work with him as well as my father did. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. Uh, well, we'll see about that. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Logain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Overconfident, some would say. Right, Duncan? <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not certain the blight can be ended quite as quickly as you might wish. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled grave wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do... <laughs> I must go before Logain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Warden. Oh, that's right. He's the golden boy, and Logain is like the silver, silver boy. Fuck, that's right. Golden silver people. Were they brothers? Was he his uncle? What I don't remember the relation. 
They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. True. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Uh, it seems... Well, if you... You could if you were not such a fool. Yes, we should proceed with the ritual. What ritual? Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. Feel free to explore the camp here. I think I have to go get some items. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. Okay, then. And that's that. Oh, hey, I leveled up again. Level three, but that doesn't matter. All right, I hope you will enjoyed that long-ass prologue. Uh, I guess I'll do the Dwarf Commoner next. I can't remember if they're all about the same length or some shorter. I really don't remember. Yeah, I think some are longer than others. But I'll do the other Dwarf Commoner next. So, yeah. Hope people enjoyed. And... Whether people choose or not, I really do like the Dwarf story. So I'll probably end up just doing that. But if people... Are, um, if enough people... If any people say they're interested in a different background, I may consider it. But for now, yeah. Later.